Hi, in this video we'll talk about BGP. This is a huge topic. Uh, you can spend weeks, months learning and studying uh, BGP routing protocol. Uh, what I want to do is to record a video to be some kind of an introduction to BGP to show you what this is all about and where you can find it in your organization. Okay, we are not talking about uh, an ISP, Internet Service Provider, we are talking about a company and uh, when your company uh, could use uh, BGP and why. Of course, I will try and uh, show you some uh, features and commands on a Cisco router as well. If you are interested, you should go to CCNP uh, track or, of course, CCIP track uh, from Cisco. So, this is my topology and uh, as you can see we have three uh, ISPs. ISP1, ISP2 and ISP3. Okay, so you, we can assume it's a large company, we have three uh, links from three different ISPs. Okay, and uh, we are always, maybe not always, but uh, in most situations we are interested in, in, uh, in, a, in all kinds of traffic that goes that way, okay, going out. So we want to make sure that if, for instance, this link goes down, we are able to browse the internet using ISP2 or maybe ISP3. Okay, that's fair enough. But what about uh, our server? Okay, our server is 25252525, so it's got a public IP address. Okay, and uh, you should know that uh, this is a public IP address, uh, and it is in our network. Okay, so uh, in most situations, it will be behind a firewall or a router that will not this uh, server. Okay, uh, so the problem is that if ISP1 goes down and that was uh, your main route, okay, and uh, this uh, router 32 was nothing uh, this IP address, your server would not be and will not be available for people on the internet. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to uh, use BGP, okay, the protocol of the internet, and we want to advertise our IP address 25252525 to ISP1, to ISP2, and to ISP3. So it means that this router, that is, that's what I labeled the internet, yeah, so uh, this is not ISP1, 2 or 3, it's just just someone on the internet and this router will know that it can reach my server using ISP1, ISP2 or ISP3, okay? So let's say this router, and that's beyond this video, uh, by the, but this router will receive uh, this route from ISP1, 2 and 3 and will decide, okay, I think that the best way to get to uh, this server is using ISP3, okay? And it will use ISP3 and of course my routers will uh, make sure it arrives at uh, router 17, okay? If this link goes down, router 9 will figure it out and will say, okay, this router is down, so I should go that way, okay? Without BGP, if this link goes down and that was your uh, server, that was the IP address that you decided to use, this server is not available for anyone on the internet. Okay? And this is so important uh, if you have a critical server like a web server or an exchange server and so on. So that's why uh, more and more companies uh, start to use. BGP. Okay, so let's take a quick look on this router. Okay, so this is uh, router 9. Okay, show IP BGP summary. That is your favorite command. 
Okay, and it's very similar to SPF or EGRP. BGP will uh, form neighbors. Okay, and we can see three neighbors. We can see ISP1, uh, ISP2, and ISP3. Okay, so you can see you can see 15, 16, and 17. Okay, so let's try and do show IP root. Okay, and we can see that here. Router 9 decided to use ISP3 to get to my cell. Let's make sure we can ping it. Yeah, fair enough, we can ping uh, router 17. Okay, now, this link goes down. Okay, so, router 9 does not have a connection to ISP3 anymore. Okay, let's try and do show IP root again. And hmm, this root is still there. Okay, let's try and do show IP root again. And this root is still there. Okay, uh, there is nothing wrong with this configuration. BGP is slow. Okay, it's not like OSPF or EHRP that it will figure out that this link is down and we'll try and find a new uh, a new path straight away. BGP is slow by design. Why? Well, to make sure that you know a, a link goes down and up on the internet every single uh, second. You know, so these routers cannot freak out and say, oh, "Oh, let's try and find a new path." Okay, so this router will take its time, will wait, maybe someone will just plug this cable back or something and uh, you will see in a few seconds router 9 will report that a BGP neighbor is down and will try and find a different uh, route to uh, server 252525 25 25. okay, show IP BGP summary okay, we can still see that router 9 Thinks that there is a neighbor at uh, 17, 17, 17, 1. Of course, we are not able to ping 25, 25, 25 uh, anymore. Okay? Let me pause the video and I will come back to you in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. It took about 20, 25 uh, seconds and router 9 reported that BGP is down, okay? So it will try and find a different way to get to server uh, behind router 17. Show IP root. Okay, and fair enough, we can see that it decided to go via ISP2. Okay, let's try and ping. Okay, and we can ping our server, okay? So, can you see what has just happened? Okay, this link uh, is down, okay, but router 9 uh, managed to find a way to your server using ISP2. Okay, without BGP it is not uh, possible. Okay, uh, so now let's try and bring ISP2 down. Let's delete that. Okay, and again, show IP root, you will see that this link, this root is still in the routing table, okay, and again, it will take some time for router 9 to figure out, oh, my neighbor is down, and I should try and find a different way to get to uh, server uh, 25 okay so again let me pause the video and I will be back with you in a few seconds okay and we're back router 9 reported BGP is uh, BGP neighbor is down and in the routing table we can see that to get to 25 I will use ISP 1 so let's try and ping okay and fair enough we can get to uh, server behind router 17. Okay, if you're interested in BGP, I encourage you to
go and study because it's uh, really really interesting how BGP uh, works and thanks to that you can access all websites including YouTube that you're watching at the moment. Thank you very much.